Nobody grinds like us The network, the DVD, the radio station Y'all know we support the grind, we promote the grind and we grind So check out the artists, this is the industry Nobody grinds like us, we here sitting with I rap you know, one third of the audio dope heads. I know y'all done heard of that before, you know, so we here. What's up, PD? No doubt, man. Just chilling. It's been a minute, man. Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we still working, though. You know, we were just um, laying low, just putting another plan together to see how we going to take this step to the next level. But we, we still here. We here. No doubt. So I, I see y'all, like, stepping into new frontiers. I see y'all rocking crowds. Like... Tell me how that feel, man, because I seen you uh, more recently at uh, Purple Buffalo. Tell me how that felt to just command the crowd the way you did. Man, it feels good, you know. You got to have that crowd control. That's one thing about, you know, being an artist, not just a rapper. You know, when you're doing shows, um, crowd control is one of the most important things. You know, people out there to see you, they want to see you put on a show. So, man, it feels good seeing people just buy the music. You know, um, that's actually a new song that I have too that I'm gonna drop. It seems like it's getting good feedback, you know, so I'm probably gonna drop that soon so that people can hear it for sure. They're online streaming. But yeah, man. Yeah, for real. So I'm doing it. So it's been like, I, I look back on uh, some of the first footage that we shot, stuff like that, and just looked at some of the loads, and it was like, y'all always seem to do things different from the traditional artists down here. So it seems like y'all scene is taking over way more than, you know, uh, the traditional Charleston rap scene. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, you know, it's just, um, you know, there's a thing going around that's like new Charleston and shit, you know, and um, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to see that it's actually expanding now. You know, a lot of the creativity, you know, is getting a lot better. You know, big shout out to all the artists that came up from Charleston, though, back in the days, you know, before we even started this music because they paved the way. But, you know, it's just the elevation um, besides all the bubblegum rap shit, because, you know, I really don't I really don't like that. But, you know, the creativity is still there, you know, so I respect that. I'm just happy to see that the city is coming together. We got all different types of sounds and there's fan base for everybody, pretty much, you know, whatever music you make, you should be able to, you know, reach out to some group of people down here in Charleston for sure. No doubt. So is there like a, a category you would put your style in or what would you consider it to be? Um, I would consider our style just like more like it, it, it's hip hop. And then, you know, I like to venture out more than anybody that I'm around. So, you know, sometimes I get into the pop fields, you know, like if you guys heard the She's So Charleston type song, like, you know, most people would consider that more of a like a, a 95 SX type pop song or something like that but you know most of the time it's hip-hop you know like underground music you know with shout out hippie cocaine and you know the whole blame squad them all my bros and shit you know they make they make more of the underground you know scene and shit the trap music so yeah for sure no doubt no doubt before we get to the she's so charleston because that was a big movement in itself tell the people about uh your first song like where you started in this game like well i had i had a couple songs like back in the day me and um my homie jazz and lavar you know what i mean um shout out to them and shit and my brother still to this day and we we had a group called guap boys which people who know me from back in the day they, they know about that as well and you know we were doing songs like um I forget that. To be honest, I can't even remember the first song, what the title was or anything, but we were so happy about that, you know, and it was more on some trap, you know, more some street stuff, you know, because the positions we were in back then, you know, we was we was living how we was living or whatever, but, um, you know, now the music's elevated. I like to reach out to different people now, so you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it, it came a long way, I can tell you that much, for sure. It came a long way. Music came a long way. No sure. doubt. Audio dope heads. Right. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people about the movement who might not know about it. Um, audio dope heads, you know, we started it back in 2012. Um, and 
Really, man, PD, man, he came through for us, you know, first ever video ever with Audio Dopez, man. PD came through, you know, like he always do and shit, and we shot a video, Don't Blow My, um, Don't Blow My High. You know, the song did pretty good, though, you know, it was, it went kind of crazy and shit, and, um, you know, that's where it all started, you know, and then after that, we just started more people coming, more people coming, we joined a big group, we just had a big group going, you know, promoting, pushing music. Um, you know, some shit went south, but, you know, that's how it happens when you got big groups of people trying to all put their ideas together. Sometimes it just don't work out, but it's still all love for all them boys, man, who ain't here with us now, you know. But, um, who we got now is who we need and shit, for real. And, um, it's really just a movement for the people, you know. We're just trying to put out good music, represent for Charleston, you know. We love Charleston, Somerville, all the surrounding areas and shit, for real. So, yeah, we're just trying to make good vibes, that's it. Definitely, and the, the movement is definitely strong. Like, back to the She So Charleston, I remember, like, you had a band covering it and everything. Uh -huh. Like, it just really seemed to, like, take over, uh -huh. in a sense, in the market that it represented. Mm -hmm. So how did that feel for you, and, and did that put any ideas in your head, or was that the idea? Um, it felt good. Um, I already knew when I, when I bought the beat, I already knew that um, I was going to do a song for Charleston, and I was just trying to figure out that I want to do a song like Rap Your Hood type shit or just make a song for, you know, a girl in Charleston and it just happened to be She So Charleston came out of it. You know, I wanted to do more of that pop, that pop type of feel, just something feel good music for the summer. And, um, you know, I actually made that song in like 15 minutes, that whole song, no lie, I recorded it. I bought the beat 15 minutes later, She So Charleston was done. Like it was just something that I just put together real quick and it just happened to be something amazing for the city, man. I appreciate everybody I was showing love. They got like 40,000 views on Facebook and all that good stuff, man. It did pretty good, you know, it did pretty good. And um, actually now I have a couple other songs that I'm working on that are on the same feel. And um, a couple of them, I got about two of them done, and I'm, I'm going to be releasing those soon, too, and seeing how it catch. You know, I felt good about She So Charleston when I first heard it, and I knew it was going to do something good, not to be cocky and that, but I just knew it was going to catch because of, you know, how it sounded, so yeah. No doubt. So what, what keeps you going in this game, man? Um, you know, one of the main things is just I like, I love making music, you know, um, um, but I can be honest with you, one of, one of my downfalls also could be that I know how to make a lot of different sounds of music, so, um, you know, I always catch myself bouncing around, that's why one time you'll see I rap with She So Charleston, and then the next time you'll see I rap with Momentum, like a song I'm about to show you guys here soon that I'm gonna drop that I had at the show, and, um, you know, it's just two different feels, so some people look at it like, and he sounds like this one minute, next minute he sounds like this, like he don't really know what he's trying to do. So sometimes I feel like that can be my downfall, but um, you know, I just like making music, man. I'm good at it, obviously, so I just keep on doing it. And you know, that's just what it is, man, for real. For the, for the artists that's, uh, that feel like their sound doesn't fit an area or that they're not getting the respect that they feel they deserve, mm -hmm. what type of advice would you give them? Um, I would tell them just, you know, stay true to yourself, you know what I mean? Um, like, don't don't try to sit there just because you hear about these little pumps and all this bullshit y'all hearing about, you know, and no disrespect to those guys, you know, they everybody got their own way to make their money and, you know, take care of their family and catch, you know, their attention, but, you know, if that, if that really ain't you, don't just do it because you want to fit in or try to be cool and follow the crowd, you know, just figure out how you sound, the, the best way you sound, what you sound, how you like, and what you like talking about, and you know, just stick with that and make that kind of music, and eventually your fan base will come and it'll be organic, you know? You don't have to worry about trying to go steal somebody else's fan base to try to fit in or whatever, just make, make, make the music that you are deep inside and, and you'll see it come along for sure. No doubt. Well, we appreciate you sitting down with us, man. And no problem, PD. Definitely been good just watching y'all grow through this journey and just become who you became. And sure. uh, on this DVD, we represent the grind. So tell the people who you are and tell them that nobody grinds like us. This is I Rap from Audio Dope Heads and nobody grinds like us. Shout out PD, man, for real. You know what I mean? Keep on doing your thing, man. Nothing but the utmost respect, man. And we'll see you again for sure. We'll do another one. Hey.